Now, the Ghana Education Service says it is surprised at the wild speculations and claims that it is introducing explicit sexual information to children as young as four under the guise of comprehensive sexual education. According to a statement signed by the head of public relations, Madame Cassandra Chum Ampofu, the new standard-based curriculum has nothing to do with lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender LGBT issues, masturbation, or explicit display or labeling of intimate body parts. The statement says it's in all the training programs from simulation through master training of the 152,000 kg to P6 teachers, there was no mention of any of the issues referred to. Management of the GES says they do not seek to throw out the advocacy for sexual abstinence, but rather seek to reinforce it. The statement says the goal of the CSE is to equip school children with age and cultural appropriate information to explore and nurture positive values. In an earlier interview, we spoke to the acting executive director of the Ghana Institute of Education Studies, Mr. Peter Antipati, on this issue. It's a framework that has been developed, um, I think, with uh, stakeholders uh, from uh, PPAG and other agencies so that is supposed to um, um, guide teachers as to how they would handle some of these issues when they come up in specific areas when they are supposed to deliver um, the, the, the content that they, 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 they are supposed to deliver. If you look at the framework, it's a model, so you will see between four to nine years is one model. Then we have another model from uh, 9 to 12. Then I think we have from 12 to 16 or so. And then um, we have um, 16 to 20 and then 20 to 24. Every model will have its, uh, what is supposed to be uh, uh, exposed, what the student is supposed to be exposed to. It's all right for people to have their suspicion because if you look at how our society is being developed and how things are changing in the global sphere, any little thing that you seek to introduce, if it, the, there's not much clarity on it, uh, people would raise issues pertaining to that, especially when in the documents there are specific issues of respecting the uh, sexual right of the individual and then what we call sexuality varieties or variation. People would now raise issue and coupled with the fact that um, there seems to be uh, a linkage between what we want to do now and what has been done in other countries. So people raise issues. So they, they are in they, they are in their right um, to do that. But we have to also understand the framework and understand what this is to achieve and understand how our society is and ask ourselves are there realistic boundaries by which we can operate within so that we will not do anything to alter our uh, cherished principles and values. Many Ghanaians have questioned the Ghana Education Service's comprehensive sexuality education for primary schools. The course seeks to equip pupils to know and experience their sexuality. However, many Ghanaians have kicked against the move, saying introducing sex education in the lower primary school is inappropriate and should be withdrawn immediately. Some cited a broader consultation on the subject. The education policy for our, our, our young people. Because I believe that people must have an idea or information about their sexuality. In doing that, it's going to help them to shape their thoughts and position on issues and reproductive rights. Um, I believe that one thing that's causing the uproar is that people don't really have enough information about what this entails. Uh, the other thing about the colors being that of LGBT community and all that. But I believe that, I mean, this information that is already in the in the guide is on the internet already. So the best we can do is to be able to shape it so that we can give it to the people.
I mean, at a particular age that they have to consume it. So I agree with it. I don't really see the challenge that people are having with it on social media. I think it's a great idea. Most of us don't know about, um, don't have a fair idea about the comprehensive sexual education. Most of us have been um, wrongly informed. So I think it's only right that we teach young adults and adults and people about, uh, you know, sexual reproductive systems and education. So I think it's great. So wearing condom, and I think that one should be for the secondary school because at that time they know what sex is about and all that. So how to wear condom and that kind of thing should be introduced to the secondary school circle. And then the sex education and stuff without how to wear the condom and all that should be to start from the upper primary or the JHS um, so it is better for them to teach them at the secondary level. As for me standing here, Portia, I didn't know about all this. When I went to the secondary level, I got to know, oh, yeah, yeah. Because my mother here is illiterate. She can teach me that, baby, Portia, if you engage with a guy having sex day in, day out, you get pregnant. No, I didn't know of this case condom and other things. Getting to the secondary level, I've got to know all these type of things. So it is better for them to keep it in the secondary level rather than going to the lower level. No, no. It's not up to uh, a colleague or his, his or her peers asking questions and they will be giving him frizzy. No, no, no. I think um, the state should take uh, upon themselves to educate them to know their left from what. Um, I support the Ministry of